Ground ball to third. Toro is there. His throw in time. Justin Verlander. Another exclamation point in a Hall of Fame career. His third career no hitter. We all love the Houston Astros. Here's Jordan Alvarez. Second major league at bat. That ball's smoked <laughs> to center field. Broxton watches. That is gone. That Alvarez kid, he's a rookie sensation. The Commissioner's Trophy. Carried by Houston Astros owner and chairman Jim Crane. And we've got to give Astros owner Jim Crane a lot of credit for putting together one heck of a baseball team. All that said, I cry foul. And I ain't talking about a ball. That one rolls foul and it's a one ball, two strike count. With one of the Houston Astros making the play. The Astros owner got a sweetheart deal with your money. Someone needs to call it out because it ain't right. And you know me. If you turn your attention to item 17, I believe Councilmember Edwards is releasing her tag on item number 17. On August 13th, there was an item on the city council agenda. It was the sale of one of the most lucrative downtown pieces of property we taxpayers own. A gold mine between 1700 and 1800 Texas, 1.738 acres. You've all seen the place if you've gone to a game. It's right across the street from Minute Maid Park. The historic cone house is on the land. So is that old Union Pacific engine. So now let's look at this 17, vote. Item 17. We're on item 17. Item 17 is an ordinance. Just need a vote. Discussion. Discussion. In favor. Opposed. Granted on 17. No one at city council said a single word. We counted. It took just 13 seconds and the deal was done. This huge chunk of land was sold to a corporation called 1800 Texas LLC. We checked it out. It was formed in 2015 by Jim Crane and Michael Slaughter, now the chief financial officer of the Astros. But just because the company address is a baseball stadium that taxpayers once spent a quarter of a billion dollars building, doesn't mean a thing. The Secretary of State records don't appear to show it's any subsidiary of the Astros. It's just a real estate deal for Mr. Crane. State law requires that you have to give public notice when you sell stuff the taxpayers own. Also, we require bids. And that's because we want taxpayers to get the most money they possibly can. You'd think the mayor would know that, but I guess not. If you read the fine print on City Hall records, you'll see the city used an exception in the law because the property is in one of those reinvestment zones. Someone who owns a property can buy adjacent property to revitalize the area. It was meant for neighborhoods that needed real help. But excuse me, the heart of downtown Houston, it's already owned mostly by mega rich developers. There's something else funny about this land deal. In May of 2016, the city approved spending more than a million dollars to appraise the property. You might remember it was supposed to be sold for a visitor center. That deal fell through. Economic Development Director Andy Ickin said at the time, the city was trying to find the best use of the property. So when city council voted last month, they were voting on an appraisal of a property's value that was three years old. So, I'm no real estate expert, but if you've ever sold a house, and I've sold a bunch, you know that you have to get a current appraisal to sell the property, not one that was done three years ago. What is 1800 Texas LLC even going to do with the property? Mixed use development, we're told, but no other details. In fact, the city hasn't even seen a plan. On item number 17, item number 17, item 17. The mayor should stop this deal before it's finalized. Taxpayers have a right to have a bidding war on this property. Developers are paying millions to lease government property like this. Taxpayers could make money for decades on it. In 2017, Mayor Turner threw out the first pitch after the Astros got back to business after Hurricane Harvey. It was a nice moment, even if the mayor doesn't throw that good. 
We know Mr. Cray is a financial supporter of the mayor, too. Between him, his wife, and another Crane executive, $11,500. And if you look at Sylvester Turner's financial disclosure, you'll see Crane Capital Group gave him a nice gift. Tickets to Astros games, plus food and beverages. Bet they're good seats, too. How much did the mayor spend there? Who knows? We don't require politicians to tell us how big the gift is. Don't ask me. No offense to Mr. Crane. We thank him for the Astros championship. But the city of Houston should never sell any of its property without making sure we are getting the most money for taxpayers, period. Discussion, discussion, in favor, opposed, granted on 17th. This is another one of those political deals that, well, smells. And that's the kind of foul I'm talking about. Now let's see if city council cries foul too.